Hey, Pete here for Studio Live today, and in this GarageBand for iOS quick tip, we're going to be looking at 24-bit audio resolution in the brand new version 2.3 of GarageBand on iPhone and iPad. So let's go. Now, we want to enable 24-bit resolution because uh, it's better than 16-bit, not just because it's a higher number, but because you're gonna get better quality audio when you're recording, especially from an external source, and you're gonna get better quality when you're mixing and mastering and exporting that final version. But by default, we don't actually have 24-bit enabled. So if we just go and create this project, and then save it out, we're only gonna get 16-bit options. What we have to do is tap on the settings here, and it's similar to do this on the iPhone as well. We go into the song settings, and down the bottom here we have advanced. Tap on advanced, and you can see here that we have 24-bit audio resolution that we can enable. We just enable that, and now we are set. We can now export this track as a 24-bit audio file, and every recording we do, so if we add a new track and record a new audio track from an external source is gonna be recorded at 24-bit audio, assuming that your interface or what you're recording through also supports 24-bit audio. Okay, a couple of things to remember about this. If you've got an old song that you've recorded at 16 bits, so you've recorded uh, in an old version of GarageBand, it is not going to improve that particular file or that recording. It will still enable you to change it and export it at 24 bit, but you're not gonna get a whole lot of benefit from that. But for your new projects that you're working on, or if you're adding new recordings, you are going to get this. So if we want to now export this at a 24 bit resolution, we just need to tap select, tap on this one here, and then down the bottom here, we want to tap share. And we can uh, either do the project or the song. Let's just say we want to do the song here. And now you can see down here, we have uncompressed AIF at 24 bit resolution. And even better, we now have uncompressed WAV files. So we don't have to use AIFF standard, which is not supported by everything. We now have the ability to select WAV file, which regardless of what DAW, Digital Audio Workstation, you're using on your PC or your Mac or where you want to send this, it's gonna be supported because it's gonna be a default 44.1 kilohertz, 24 bit WAV file. So I'm pretty excited about this new feature. If you want to get 24-bit recordings in GarageBand on iOS, go ahead and enable that in your song settings and you'll be good to go. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. <laughs>